Dothan High School Tigers. All right, make some noise as they come in. Following Grandview, it's Headland Elementary. Let's hear it for Headland. Next up, coming up to the field now, it is Hidden Lake Elementary School. It's here for Hidden Lake. Our next school is Next up it's Wicksburg High School. Let's hear it for Wicksburg. For Wicksburg, it's Wiregrass Adult Daycare. Wiregrass Adult Daycare. Make some noise. to the 37th Special Olympics. Can you believe we've been doing it for 37 years? We want to welcome all of you out on behalf of the city. I know you want to get into it and the rain's coming so I will be short, but I want to recognize some special, special people here. We have the city manager here with us today, Mr. Mike West. We have, uh, I don't believe any other city commissioners are here, but I know Doug Singfield, the county commissioner is here with us, and some department heads. We have our, our fire chief, Larry Williams, somewhere back here. Our police chief, Greg Benton, as you be, will be running in just a few minutes from now. Elston Jones is here from the Leisure Services Department. <laughs> I think I recognize that, but I got one special person I want to recognize, and I'll be finished. I told you this is the 37th Annual Olympics. We have a special guest, Mr. Jim Oates, was the Leisure Services Director 37 years ago when we started this. And I think we need to recognize Mr. Rose for what he has done. I want to welcome all the athletes. I know you want to get started, so I'll, I'll, all I got to say is let's get on with the game. Thank you. Now the torch will be passed by family and friends, one to another, as it comes toward the flame. Let's get this way down. Let's, let's, let's give some applause for these families. Right, let's make some noise. Come on now. Here it goes. They have lit the flame. Woo! It's an honor to be here today, and uh, um, I wanted to speak uh, about two individuals that uh, mean a lot to me, uh, meant a lot to Special Olympics, and meant a lot to the citizens of, uh, citizens of Dothan. Um, 
The first person I'll speak about is John Gibbons. He's a, a retired captain who recently passed uh, because of cancer. Um, John Gibbons uh, was a very, very big supporter of Special Olympics, uh, very dear to his heart uh, and the uh, law enforcement torch run. Uh, I know that because I, he was my direct supervisor for about 10 years and uh, he and I worked together on Special Olympics for about six months out of the year raising money for Special Olympics. Uh, if, um, if I can have, is anybody here from John's family, John Gibbons family? Brandy? If you will accept this on behalf of the John Givens family, it's dedicated to the memory of John Givens. Mark was a, uh, a man very dear to my heart. And please forgive me if I get choked up, but uh, Mark recently passed uh, on um, Christmas Eve and a uh, very important part of our department. He loved this city, he loved his family, and uh, he really, really, his sole mission in life was to, uh, to help people. And uh, he was a big supporter of Special Olympics as well as many, many other charities uh, that uh, there is. Um, and I would like to uh, dedicate this, uh, this moment to Mark, a very special man. And uh, I know that you're very proud of him, as I am. I'm going to miss him. I do miss him. But uh, the Special Olympics will miss him as well. This is dedicated to the memory of Mark Foster, always a friend and proud supporter of Special Olympics. Thank you. Thank you.